Hi guys, welcome back to Beals Science. I'm Craig Beals, and I've got a very special pen in my hand that has completely grabbed my imagination and taken over my ADD. Now, generally on this channel, we're blowing a lot of things up. There's fires, there's, you know, a lot of madness. So what could possibly be so special about a pen? It's erasable. What? Don't tune me out right now, because there's more to it than you think. This ink is thermochromic ink, which means it changes color depending on the temperature. So I've got a thermal camera up here and watch. The friction between the paper and the eraser is causing the paper to heat up. When it does, the thermochromic ink changes from colorful to clear. The normal ink, even though it's getting the same amount of heat and friction, it doesn't change because it's not thermochromic ink. So here we go, we've got our papers. We're down in the dungeon where the freezer is. The color should go from clear to hopefully back to the blue color it was before. We'll check back in just a minute. Now I know you probably find this hard to believe, but I'm absolutely fascinated by this ink. The possibilities are endless. And what I'm gonna do here is show you that we've got our ink, and then I'm gonna put some regular ink on here. If we use the eraser, it heats it up, right? We shouldn't have to just use the eraser to cause friction. We can do this with fire, which is way more our style. A little fire. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look it. Look it. Can you see it? It's going away. It can even do it from the back. But look what's going on with the regular ink there. It doesn't go away. Look at it. Oh. Starting to come back, you go away. Now let's watch this again in infrared because this is where it really starts to get interesting. Look at the ink comes out and it's nice and cold. Bring on the fire! But then when we get some heat on it, this is when it changes back to clear. Isn't that awesome? Now remember, we put some of them in the freezer. That was about 10 minutes ago. Let's see how they turned out. Look, 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 look. Special, normal. Isn't that amazing? So what we've done, we've taken it, we've heated it up, and now we've cooled it down. Let's go back to the lab. You can see all that writing. So yeah, it's like disappearing ink and it will erase, but hmm, maybe it doesn't erase permanently. And maybe we should be careful with this stuff. If the freezer causes the thermochromic ink to reappear, then we should be able to do that when we don't have a freezer present. Dry ice, <sighs> solid CO2. It's cold. Yeah, like negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit cold, which means maybe we can get this stuff to get our ink to change colors again without having to put it in the freezer. To try this one out, I figured, hey, let's do a little art project, maybe a finger painting with thermochromic ink. Here we go. Let's make that art go away. Fire, heat it up some. Isn't that amazing? Look at that! Huh? <laughs> Gone from the other side. Yeah. Kind of sad, eh? Spent a lot of time on that art project. While we wait to see if the extra cold dry ice will bring the color back, let's talk about what's going on here. Well, there's something called leuco dyes, and leuco dyes literally change configuration as they heat up and change configuration back as they cool down. Now, I went into my daughter's room and stole her pillow here, but this pillow is made up a bunch of uh, sequins. And watch what happens. As I move the sequins one direction, it changes color. As I move it back, it goes back to the original color. Well, the leuco dyes, when we heat them up, they change configuration, just like this does. Notice, physically, these sequins change configuration. And when they do, they reflect the light coming from the ceiling differently. And then when we cool them back down, physically, they change shape, and they reflect and absorb the light differently. And I gotta tell you, if you have ADD like I do, go get one of these pillows. I promise you, you're not gonna get anything done. Not. In fact, I don't know that this video will ever get made now. I'm gonna go play with my pillow. And we haven't forgotten about our art project. Look, we have the dry ice sitting on here for a little bit. And as it comes back to room temperature, look at this. 
Ah, look at that. Our art is back. Now, I had this other what I think is a brilliant idea because, you know, you could spend a fortune on birthday cards. Really, somebody's gonna have a birthday every year and do they really care about the card or could you just reuse the same card every year? Well, no, you can't because once you write inside of that card, it says happy whatever birthday. But what if you used a special thermochromic pen? And then you can save like a small fortune, like maybe $4 a year, but that's something. Let me show you what I mean by this. So here we go, happy seventh birthday. We love you, our seven year olds so cute. And then they turn eight and they get a little bit more of a headache. So we like them maybe most of the time. And as they get older and older, sometimes we question why we love our children so much, although we do. And then they start to get up into their teen years and sometimes we're just ready for them to move out. And then someday on the road, your lovely child can put that card that you've been making every year into the freezer. And looky there, everything you ever wrote about that kid is on that card. I'm thinking in my head, here's how this should work, right? Now, assuming my kids' names are Ed and Victoria, and I somehow get a hold of Santa's nice list. Whoa, Santa would not be happy if I ruined his nice list. And then I say, oh, Kids at home, you're not being nice. Which means, mm, sad for you, it doesn't look like you're gonna be on Santa's nice list anymore. And by the time I get through Ed's name, I would sure think that Miss Victoria and Mr. Craig Beals are gonna start behaving themselves. Sorry, Ed. No presents for you this year. And we know that even Santa's helpers can't stay mad for long. So little Ed, uh, apparently he started to behave again and he is back on the nice list. Yeah, good job, Ed. We got a lot going on over here at Beal Science and at BealScience.com. Come over and check it out. I really do appreciate you watching. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down there. Maybe leave me a comment. Tell me if you're sick of me and I should just go away or maybe you have some other ideas or maybe you just want to say hi. But the real point, the point of me making all these videos is to remind you to keep on learning and to stay off of Santa's naughty list. <laughs>